Hello everyone, Zuru 635 here and I just got home from work and I got This a... is your daily dose of it. Wait. No. Never mind. Wrong channel. Well you run that channel. I should start with your daily dose of robots. Not too much work. Anyways. We would also have to have a robot for every day. I mean I'm, I'm pretty sure we do for a solid few years. But oh. then eventually we'd have to get more. So today I'm going to be unboxing a new crockpot from like 2007 because that's what it says on the box right here. I can't really, well, I can't show it. I just got covered this up. You see? New crockpot 32107. Yes, so this is a crockpot from 2007, so this is really exciting. I got this uh, in a deal with a friend, which I'm really glad and really thankful he did this deal with me because honestly, I've been looking for an one of these for years. We've got one. It's the uh, 08 model of this. This should be the 010 model, I think. Even though it says 07 in there. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, so, huge friend. I mean, huge, huge friend. thanks to uh, Robot Collector 2000 for doing this deal with me. And I hope you enjoy your Mini V1 that's currently on its way. So, you'll be getting your quad, your red quad. So, let's open it up see how this goes. For a lot of you who know how these things work, this is obviously not a crock pot, and I didn't realize how big this box was, but they made a box perfectly fit for it. Here, fill this uh, flap down. Thank you. It. 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 Here we have the Thing One RC Changeable Car, aka Bootleg v -box. So, this was found on pure accident. 2012? Yeah, that's what it says 2012. So, I don't know if this is from a 2012 model or this is during the time period they're still selling it. What's interesting is the window portion on here is still intact because you can have two windows. One in the top or one in the front that will show you what color you get. And Basically, I can, you punch that out. Pretty much, but I'm not going to be punching it out in this case because there isn't a plastic screen under this, I don't think. I still won't punch it because this is like, I have not seen a box for this in person. So, this one is the rechargeable version, 3.6 volt, a chargeable car, remote takes 3 AA batteries. So, when I say that we have one of these, at my parents' house, I got a blue one. I got the eBay a good while ago, I don't remember how many years ago, but a good while ago. And I don't have a remote for it. So it was my, one of the most expensive bootlegs out there but I only paid what I did due to the fact that I hadn't seen one for sale in years. And there's a reason why I like it, which I'll be getting to it with this one. So one night I was just on eBay looking to find the transforming truck by Thing One that was made by the same company that was released with this one, with the uh, fake V Bot. And I was like, okay, I wanted to have one for cheap, like five bucks or so. And then I came across the listing for this and immediately had another panic attack. Yeah, your reaction Dude. I had another panic attack like when I found the uh, V2 display, so not my proudest moment, but you know what? I don't care. Anyways, enough of me blabbering. Let's open up this sealed boy and see what color we get. My brain, I hope it's red because I really do like how the red looks. Don't get me wrong. I like the blue, but I do like the red because the red one is more iconic because uh, Johnny Lightning did release a red V-Bot, so it would be nice to compare the two side by side but even if it's blue it's not really that bad because they don't have two versions of blue the original and the remake all right first we got the manual rc changeable car a playmate combined high technology and lively in the individuality yeah that's not broken anymore. the number one thing i'm going to read for you guys and then i'm going to take out the box <clears throat> Welcome to Putchett's Thing One 28118 Remote Control Changeable Car. This product adapts various special structures and advanced technologies and can be transfigured into robot through remote control. The robot can demonstrate several attack actions and dynamic dances with beautiful transfiguration actions, shining light and sweet music. It enjoys multiple functions, beautiful shape but simple appreciation. To help you better master the functions and operation of the product, please read carefully the following instructions before using it, and then our product will be your best friend. And no, I was not way, trying to be racist. Literally, the yeah. uh, demo video of this 
is exactly how it's spoken. That's what I was going to say, just for clarification. Oh my gosh, it comes with a styrofoam box. I love that. I feel that's the car. Kind of stuff. And it's... Okay, it is blue, but that's all right. All right, here, you want to grab one in? I'm the most disappointed I've ever seen anybody to see a particular color for Okay, cool. Got it. Yep. I got the rest. Oh, it does have a window box. Me. Huh? That sounds so much bothers me. I don't know why. What? The sound. I actually like the sound of the I don't know why. All right, so... Oh, you guys got the same thing. So the car was indeed blue. I was hoping it was red, but you know what? Oh, that's that's okay. Nope, oh, this one's gonna fall. No, don't fall. You know what? Actually, here. Here, put this here, behind here. Is this what you were wanting? No, I was just trying to get this weighted down. Oh. Here. No, don't, don't give any insights on what's going on. Okay, we're good. Because, so I guess it is what the box says. Um, because on it there's a sticker that read Y12, 21, 38. Oh, wait a second. Where's the, where's the B? Huh. I could have that it said B on here, but it doesn't. Okay, well, that's fine. But what's interesting is it says applied frequencies 27, 35, 40, and 49. Thing one, I mean, you. You alright there, huh? Yeah. VBOT only came in, I think, at 27 megahertz. I'm hoping this one's still a 27, so that way I can still use the controller on the original one. So here, we got the controller, which is 27 megahertz. Very cool. Clicky buttons. The button, because the stick on here isn't even on there, right? But that's okay. Okay. Let's see what we've got. I like the little detail right here. It just mm -hmm. says transform. Very amazing. Let's go ahead and pop in the batteries for the controller. The controller takes three AA batteries instead of your uh, traditional 9 volt battery. But I mean, that's practically as expected. And then your antenna is right here, which is currently taped. So I can get that out. And this thing is solidly brand new, so this is cool. Where these things seem to be mostly common sold out, I think it's in like Russia Probably and China. more likely China, but yeah, actually, yeah, you're right in China. All right, let's see that. Went in. Where did you get your original one from? eBay. I mean, like what country did you In the from? US. Oh, wow. All right, so here we've got the controller with its blinking light. Usually on the original VBOC controller, the blinking light would mean your battery is running low on the remote, but in this case, this is how it does for everyone, so I will assume that's normal. So can I remove the car? No, I cannot remove the car because it is screwed. Nope, well we got two rechargeable battery packs, which I don't know if they're even still good. Which actually acts like the, your C batteries, so here's you got your two batteries. Both are 3.6 volts, 700 milliamp. Here we got your charger. Originally at one point when I first got the blue one I was really close to buying batteries and a charger in case I didn't have any of that. But I'm kinda glad I waited because it turned out the one in particular did not take rechargeable batteries. And there's four screws holding this into place. So I'll screw that. Which is actually kinda cool. It's actually having all the inserts and everything. Now, I don't know if these rechargeable battery packs are going to work, but hopefully they might have a little bit of juice in them just to show it in action. And if they are dead currently, hopefully they can still be charged. Thankfully, they're not lipos, so that's... They won't be a spicy pillow, as no. the Pods calls it. Yes, that's the term we use in this house. Anything with a lipo, we always got to make sure it doesn't have a spicy pillow. Yep. Because those spicy pillows are not good. No, Deadly, not, actually. They're not the kind of thing I would want to use as a pillow. This one's for sure. Yeah, same. An inflated pillow that could literally kill you. I mean, unless you want to see Jesus early, then that's on you. But I do not want to see Jesus. There are better yet. ways to do that. Yes. Oh. 
But you can do that with cardboard insert. Because there's your cardboard insert, which really is important. Solid. Nice. And here we've got the car. Okay, so this was cardboard. They come with your little adjust tool, which uh, really won't be needed for this. Let me just go back in the box. And then, of course, on the top here, you've also got a bracket that supports the wings, or the doors, I should Dang, say. It even has a sticker up there still and everything. I know, and there's a lot of grease on this thing. Uh. This is important to remove, or else you're going to break the wings on this thing. It's like 11 years old now, too, so it's I know. been in the box for a good bit. Never been removed. How do I remove this? It reminds me of a Scion, and it reminds me of some of the earlier, or the, yeah, the... Well, the more modern Jeeps with the, hit, the tail lights back here. Yeah. A little bit of a Kia Soul. A little bit of a... I don't want to say a PT Cruiser, but a little bit. <laughs> At least not the front, the back. Yeah. Excuse me, there's a, is there two screws on this thing? I should have read this manual more thoroughly before I took this out. It's really screwed. Shush. I don't remember asking for your opinion. I don't remember. That's good. If you ask. <laughs> That's where it only shows one screw. And it looks like there's two, but. Okay, I think this just pops out. Oh, there we go. Cool. So we got that. So here we got. Oh, sticker. So here we got. Like the crossbar, like what some people have on there. Yeah, all right. Anyway, so go ahead. That's okay. So here we got the changeable car and beautiful metallic blue finish. Very nice. Now cyber let's blue. cyber blue with the V-Bot. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do this. Pop pre group. Pop pre. Man, poop pre must have been on this thing. It's their alternative. Now, what's going to be interesting for me to see is how different are the legs laid out because the first one we've got takes C batteries. Now, this one takes rechargeable battery packs. So, I wonder if they still uses the same mold for C's or they completely changed it. Let's see here. Dang. Stubborn things. They did change the molds on that, okay. Kind of weird they changed it. I don't understand why they decided to change it. Oh, it still has the harness for a little socket for the lights. Interesting. Well, we're going to find out if these batteries work or not. So you put two in. Comment below if you think it will or won't. Yes. Pretty sure people don't ever do that. No, I'm always joking. Yeah, no. Okay, the lights came on for the face. Yeah, they're weak. The wheel lights are coming on a little bit too. This one's here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these bears are dead. You need a good charge? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, guys, gonna let these batteries charge, and we will check back on this shortly. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the Fing One Two Eight One One Eight RC Changeable Car, and hopefully, not long from now, we'll see this in action and see if it works. See you on the part two.